Hello everyone, welcome to part three of a three-part series of configuring HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform for SAML single sign-on authentication with Microsoft Azure Intra-ID Provider. Let's first do a quick recap on what's been covered in the part two series. First, we configured the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform authentication with SAML-based SSO. Secondly, we configured HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform authentication by claiming of organization domain name. Third, we configured the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform authentication by importing Microsoft Intra-ID SAML Federation metadata XML file. Lastly, we configured the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform authentication with recovery user. In step one, the user now will enter the credentials for the single sign-on option on the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform URL. This will trigger a redirect request to the Microsoft Azure Intra-ID URL. For step two, wherein you will need to provide your domain credentials or log in to the SAML identity provider. Step three, once the domain user credentials are authenticated by Microsoft Intra-ID Identity and Access Management, a successful response is sent back to the HP GreenLake platform. At this stage, you have completed logging into the platform with your SSO provided credentials. You are now on the Home Warrior Services workspace. You can check user Pat Tracy logged in. Now in the Identity Access tab, let's perform two tasks. Let's invite the users and secondly, check options on users. To perform the first task, the Invite Users option is enabled. On the second task, select DPOC User. Under Actions, Notice Delete or Assigned Roles are listed. By these two ask, user Pat Tracy is assigned Workspace Administrator privileges. Let's verify by selecting Pat Tracy User and Viewing Details. Notice under Roles, Aruba Central Administrator and HP GreenLake Platform Workspace Administrator privileges have been assigned. In step four, let's sign up user Pat Tracy from the HP GreenLake platform workspace. Let's log into Azure portal to check user Pat Tracy's role assignments. Now we have logged into the Azure portal, portal.azure.com, we can verify and manage Microsoft Intra-ID subscriptions by clicking the view button. Now from the Microsoft Intra-ID homewarriorservices.com application console under getting started, click on set up single sign-on. Click on attributes and claim. Under Additional Claims, click on HP CCS Attribute. There are two user type claim conditions that have been defined for user Pat Tracy to verify different roles assigned on the HP GreenLake platform workspace when logged in. The first user type is defined with HP GreenLake platform Home Warriors Service Workspace and Aruba Central Service Administrator roles and permissions. Click on the groups. Notice Admin Home Warriors has been defined with Active Directory users as part of the administrator role. Similarly, the second user type is defined with HP GreenLake Platform Home Warrior Service Workspace and Aruba Central Service Observer role and permission. Click on the groups. Notice Observer Home Warriors has been defined with Active Directory users as part of the Observer role. Let's select Users and Group. Click User Pat Tracy. Under Group Membership, the user is assigned to the Admin Home Warriors Active Directory group. Let's remove the membership from Admin Home Warriors. Click OK. In step five, let's select Observer Home Warriors Active Directory group under membership. Notice we had defined second user type claim conditions with HP GreenLake platform workspace and Aruba Central service application with Observer role. User Pat Tracy group membership is changed from Admin Home Warriors to Observer Home Warriors group with Observer role. In step six, User will enter the credentials for the single sign-on option on the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform URL. This will trigger a redirect request to the Microsoft Azure Intra-ID URL. Next, provide your domain credentials for login to the SAML Identity Provider. Once the domain user credentials are authenticated by Microsoft Intra-ID and Access Management, a successful response is sent back to HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud Platform. At this stage, you have completed logging into the platform with your SSO provided credentials. You are now on the Home Warrior Services workspace. You can check the user Pat Tracy logged in. Navigate to Home, click on the user management. Let's repeat two tasks, invite the user and check options on users. To perform the first task, navigate to Users. You can notice there is no invite user option enabled. On the second task, select Depoc user. Under Actions, notice Delete, or assign roles are not listed. By these two tasks, user Pat Tracy is not assigned workspace administrator privileges. 
Let's verify by selecting Pat Tracy user and viewing details. Notice under roles Aruba Central view only and HB GreenLake Platform Workspace Observer roles privileges have been assigned. This concludes that the user roles and permissions are all configured on the Microsoft IDP provider for the user to log in to the HP GreenLake Edge to Cloud platform. This concludes our three-part series. Thanks for watching.